Greenwood Chevrolet is a sprawling modern dealership on Mahoning Avenue in Austin Town. It's what you'd expect from the dealership, which last year sold more new vehicles than any other dealership in the area. Origins of this dealership came um, in the same year that they opened Lordstown. Greg Greenwood runs his namesake Chevrolet dealership, which was first started by Marv Minimum in 1966. Greenwood says having the Lordstown plant nearby is a gift. In this area, we're not only 100% effective for GM, most of us are 200 plus percent effective for General Motors. And so it's twice the national and or state average. New vehicle sales from last year show that Greenwood Chevrolet was the top selling dealership around Youngstown. In fact, sales figures for new cars show that four of the top five dealerships sold General Motors products. The number one make, by far and away, was Chevrolet. 8,265 new ones were sold last year. Ford was second with about half that number. Three of the top five models were also made by General Motors. The Chevy Equinox was easily the top seller. The Cruze was eighth. When it comes to competition, we can beat the Fords, we can beat the Chryslers. Barry Gonis runs Spitzer Chevrolet, six miles west of Greenwood on Mahoning Avenue in North Jackson. It's the closest Chevy dealership to the Lordstown plant. It has a number one GM ranking. That's unheard of. When you look at a little store like this, never expecting to do the numbers that it does, but the help from the Lordstown plant, the GM employees, and the GM employees helping all the other people across the area friends and family, giving them a nice supplier program, makes it the best deal in the country. Barry Gonis showed me the redesigned Chevy Cruze. He had me sit in the back seat to witness the extra room that's been added. Greenwood and Spitzer, two Chevrolet dealerships on the same road, just six miles apart, both doing great. We're definitely a GM town. I have friends who have restaurants and businesses all over the Mahoney Valley, and they, without the GM employees, where would we be?